Hello, my name is Pluribus, and today I am going to be playing Forge Quest. Forge Quest is a Kickstarter game that was uh, funded on January 13th, 13th of this year. I actually funded it uh, last November. Uh, the first beta came out May 4th um, of this year, and I'm going to be playing the latest beta version, which is 1.03b, which came out on May 23rd. So Forge Quest, it's called Forge Quest Sandbox Action RPG. Uh, you'll see uh, pretty soon here as I open up the game. I'm going to open up this world that I've already made and my character. It is a 3D sort of isometric view of uh, sort of a resource gathering uh, type of game. So you gather up resources. As you can see, I'm chopping down this tree right now to make things similar to Minecraft it's a little bit different um, in that you don't actually alter the entire world and there's quite a bit to this game they plan to there are already some quests involved I'm not going to be looking at those today I'm going to be more giving an overview of the general game as a whole they've recently added in different it used to be the control scheme was you use the arrow keys Z X and C to do various commands They've changed that now to um, you move with the WASD, WASD and the mouse, and you use E to use. And I'm going to open up the inventory real quick. As you can see, it is still in beta, so this was the flower we picked up. It's aloe, which we can use to craft things. Uh, it does not have art yet. It's got placeholder question mark. What we do have is elm logs, which is what we've been uh, picking up so far. Now, if you look over here, this is the recipes that we have. So instead of, this is sort of like in Minecraft uh, for the 360, you have the list of things that you can make. So one of the first things that you want to get is my first recipe book. You will get these recipe books, which will then allow you to learn more recipes, which is kind of a cool mechanic, I feel, for which we need jute fibers, roots, and elm logs. You already have plenty of elm logs. You can see in the background, though, that there are these little slime guys. Uh, those are enemies, so we're going to need a weapon. We need a wood sword, which takes five elm logs. We could just click on craft this item. No, we have a wood sword. To take that, put it down here in our hotbar. I believe. Ah, never mind. In weapons. It's a little different. So left click is to swing your sword. Let's go kill this guy. Combat is a little funny because as you swing your sword, you do lunge forward, and so you risk sort of jumping beyond your enemy. Uh, the controls are also a little bit glidy. Um, I don't know if that's sort of intended or if they're going to be changing that, although it does allow you to look awesome in Moonwalk. Um, you do jump with the space button. It's not an auto sort of jump up the ledge type of thing, and you can uh, turn the camera using O and P to get a different view so like now we can see there is actually a slime here Let's see if we can kill this guy there we go you have our health down here and E is to interact with the world around you so chopping down trees talking to people there are merchants in the world um, you can see our health is also regenerating um, and to pick up things uh, we can also build a hatchet later and uh, that will allow us to chop down trees faster, things like that. Oh, we got a bat here. Let's kill that. Really quick, there we go. We need to gather some more of these roots. That's the one thing with the gliding mechanics is it sort of takes a little while to orient yourself to actually gather the required materials that you need to build stuff, which can be a little bit annoying. I haven't played as much of this game as I should have. I've been finishing up finals for school and all that stuff uh... alright let's see what we've got now we still need two more jutes and two more roots there's another root let's see if I can show you something else real quick here no it doesn't seem like that is another square over there oh that's a spider don't really feel like fighting him right now, so I'm just going to ignore that. Try to move on down this way. Pick that up. We need the jute. Come on. 
Hmm. Well, anyway, you are supposed to be able to sort of go off the edge and move into a new area. Uh, and they do have plans to make it sort of almost winding and labyrinthian uh, with plans to add a mini-map later, which is so that's really nice to have in this type of game where you're sort of exploring, you can get lost easily. One good thing is when you die, you do not lose all of your items. You actually retain those, so nothing there. Ah, chicken! Let's see, I think... Yes, you can put the chicken on your head. That is one of the greatest things in the world. Um, so, as you can tell, the creators of this game do have a sense of humor, and this is going to be a pretty cool game when it does come out. It's supposed to come out in, I believe, June? So, coming up here actually pretty soon. Let's see, does it chicken allow you to fly further? I can't quite tell. Um, for some people who funded enough for the Kickstarter campaign, I do believe they got an egg to, like, raise their own chicken. This is an owl guy who will sort of tell you some of the basic stuff of the game, sort of how to move and things like that, and he apparently also gives you some quests. Let's see. Ah, uh, yes. So, he can tell you how to do all the different things, and then you can ask for quests. We need to gather some stuff. That's not old at all. Harvest some wood. All right. I have the wood you asked for. That's not sexual in any way, shape, or form. Now you need some roots. I have the roots you asked for. Take this as a reward. Let's see what we got. We got 20 gold coins. Awesome. I'm assuming that we use those for the merchant. What is this? I have not seen this before. Holy Jesus. That is a giant bat. I am not sure if I can take this guy on. Nope. No, no, this is bad. This is... Oh. Oh. Oh, I need to get out of here. See, this is, again, you can see the gliding controls are sort of working against me here, making it a little bit hard for me to actually escape from this. Um, well, if I just run over here, I just need to collect some roots. Oh, that, you know what, I think that might be the way you get from area to area now. Um, again, I haven't really played this game since the very first beta that they released. I am going to die to these spiders, I think. So there's a lot of stuff that I don't know. They are releasing these uh, sort of beta announcements pretty quickly. Uh, there will be a link to the Kickstarter down below as well as their forums. I don't believe that they're taking pre-orders anymore. I'll have to check on that. Of course, you can always check the website yourself. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, God. Oh, God. No, I don't want to die to a little spider. I am not dead yet. I'm not... Oh, I freaking died. Damn it. Grab some more jute. I want to at least get the recipe book before we exit this. Come on. Pick up the damn jute. I've also noticed they've changed the way your character looks. You can craft new outfits and stuff. I saw that. Um, so th there are big plans for this game to sort of... Instead of just being straight-up sandbox, they do want it to have the RPG and adventure elements of it. So having the quests, I believe I saw something about possibly orc villages, things like that. You can build a house and you build a village and, th and uh, sort of create the fantasy world for yourself. There is a voxel editor so you can, you know, modders can make their own things as well. I believe this game has a lot of promise to it. Um, I'm excited to see what happens when it's fully released. How much do we need? Got that. We have enough jute now. We just gotta find some roots. Uh, can I go through? Nope. I got to go around here. Let's turn the camera again. I do like the isometric view. Oh, dang it! There used to be a way to cancel the harvesting. I do like the isometric view more than come on, than the regular view, because it allows you to see more. And it reminds me of my favorite game of all time, is Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. Um, it just sometimes makes it a little bit more difficult to move. However, the way it was before is because you had to be facing something in order to harvest. If you weren't facing perfectly and it made it a little bit harder to ch choose your the direction you're facing when you are in an isometric view, that was a little difficult. I think this might be a different tree. Is this... 
No, it's still L. Alright, we have enough to make a recipe book. So we grab that, double click it, and now we have a whole bunch more recipes. We can make torches, which are used for the underground, which I might show you later. Um, we also should probably make a house at some point. For that, you need maple logs and you need flax fiber. But I think that's a pretty good overview for now. I might make another video in the future. If you like this video, let me know. If you didn't like this video, let me know why not so I can improve it in the future. Thank you very much for watching.